welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this household haul. Let me tell you, it is huge. I just moved maybe like, I think a week ago. And you know when you move that everything just gets used up and you wait to buy things. So I have been needing tons of things that I have been putting off and I wanted to show you guys that I did go to the store today. I had a Costco haul, a Lid and Aldi haul, and I will link those here for you all to see if you're interested. And so today was just a shopping day, but I really thought that I should make a video and show you guys about the household stuff I bought because I know we talk about grocery budgets a lot, but I'm always curious about what people are buying for their house, how often they need it, things like that. And sometimes I'm just curious about, am I the only one that spends this much money? Because it feels like a lot of money. So don't forget to subscribe for all the videos to come and let's go check out all of this. So first of all, at Costco today, I actually bought all new dishes. We've been wanting to buy dishes for like two years, haven't done it. Went down this aisle at Costco, found this amazing deal. These were $16.99 a box, and it gives you a place setting for four. So this will actually serve 12 place settings, so like 12 of each, and that will be wonderful. I just thought the price was really, really good, and my husband really liked the bowls. And so, yeah, very excited about that. Costco for the win. I am almost completely out of laundry soap and oh my gosh, you guys, this one's my favorite. I hate my clothes to like smell like anything and I don't know, I just like all. I actually switched when my kid was little from drift to what you use when they're like a baby to all. And so all is um, what I've been using for years and years other than if I make it myself. This was everything I got at Walmart that I could pull aside and kind of goes household wise. And this stuff adds up so quick, you guys. Um, but let's kind of go through it. I actually got some cards to give um, a friend of mine some encouragement because she was having a hard time. Uh, this 32 thing of dishwashing pods. I always use Cascade. I used to use the one instead of saying Dawn here, it said bleach and that's when I got kind of hooked on it. They don't really make that one anymore but I feel like the platinum works the best for me. There's two kinds of platinum ones now and I just grabbed this one. It was $10 which I think is kind of a lot but what can you do? And I feel like the pods actually work a lot better than the liquid soap. So are you guys pods or are you guys liquid soap? Like what do you all use? What do you think works best? I would love to just try some different things. I grabbed another hand soap because I was afraid that the one in my son's bathroom I think was almost out so I just grabbed it while I was there. This is the deodorant that my husband uses so he grabbed a two pack of that. I needed to make some mattress cleaner. I really wanted to clean our mattress since we moved and you know how it is when you have like moving trucks and all that, like I covered it, but still. And then I actually spilled um, a drink and some food the other night. And so I really wanted to clean my mattress. I didn't know if I had a spray bottle, so I just grabbed one while I was there. If I have that video, I will actually link it here for you all. Uh, this is the body wash that me and my husband both use. You guys remember back when the minimalist movement really first started, it said a way to kind of minimize on purchasing was to use the same soap, you and your spouse. And um, this is what we ended up with and that we've been using probably a good like three years now even maybe even more than that so I used to buy a, a kind and he used to buy a kind this was six dollars for the twin pack it works really good for us but I know everybody has skin issues and things that you know they they deal with this this is the hair stuff that I use 
I hate when my hair is not like run your fingers through good type of thing. This is actually like a leave-in conditioner. It's really comparable to Miracle 10. I used a Miracle 10 for about 10 years and I spray this on my hair after I get out of the shower and then I can brush through it. I dye my hair to the hilt, use heat every day. Like I wreck it, you guys, and I have to use this or I can't really brush through it, but it works so good. These are $10. My husband was like, you know you should get two of them. And I was like, okay. So I got two. Over, I grabbed these. They were actually on an end cap. And then I went and looked at them. I, my hair has gotten a lot blonder over the past um, couple of months. From, you know, just getting it done and things like that. Kind of keeping up on it. And I've never seen this kind, so I was like, I'm going to try these and see if I like them better. And I was almost out of all my hair ties. Y'all know, they just disappear. So back here, I have some... So back here, I have some dry shampoo. You guys know, dry shampoo is life, is life. I saw this three-pack, I want to say that it was like $15, but I'm not 100% sure. I will actually check my receipt and tell you all because the big ones now, I want to say they're $6.48 or something like that. But y'all, I can go through some dry shampoo, especially if you have thick hair. Oh my gosh. Like it, it really helps because you don't have to wash your hair, but oh, you know, life. This is my son's favorite soap. So he does not like to use... Um, I like a loofah and liquid soap. He really likes a bar soap. And so he always pick, I just tell him, you know, pick out what you want. And he always picks out Irish Spring. My dad used this, so it's like super nostalgic for me. And I love it. And I just get, there's usually like soap savers next to the soap at Walmart. And they are like these little sponge things. And you put your soap bar on that and then it lasts for a lot longer. And weirdly enough, I'm guessing it has to do with the whole Procter & Gamble not getting their deliveries out and things like that that we found today at Tarte at um, Costco because there was no toilet paper or paper towels there. And um, so I'm guessing that the reason why there was only a big pack of soap, there wasn't a lot of soap and a lot of options. So I'm guessing it has to do with a lot of this Procter & Gamble stuff with this virus stuff going around. So that is my Walmart household haul. So like I told you guys, since I could not get Costco paper towels or toilet paper, I ended up just getting these. These are actually my favorite anyway. <laughs> to be honest, I actually like them much better than Costco. And, but I do think that Costco is a better deal and it's fine, so I never complain about it. But Scott paper towels are my absolute favorite. I like the thickness. They have like the choose a sheet. I mean, they're just great. Scott tissue, the um, one with the ripples on it here, the best. I love that one the best as well. I did buy some Charmin the other day and I don't like that as well. So I didn't think I was picky about it, but I guess I am. This was my other strange household thing that I bought at Costco today. Two pillows, they were $10. They're the Gel Cloud Memory Pillows. Actually really heavy, y'all. Like, they are just really heavy pillows. I don't know why, but I think they'll be really nice to lay on. Um, we'll see. They were $10 and we just really needed some new pillows. If I like them, I'll go back and get two more, but Two of our pillows actually looked okay and I had replaced them a couple, maybe a year ago, but our other two just looked awful and they were really lumpy. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try these. So I did get two cases of water. I don't know if you put that in your grocery hauls or in your household hauls. I have no idea, but I did get two cases of water. All right, guys, so that is it for me. I am so exhausted, legit laying on the floor. Tried to lay on my pillows, but it didn't work. And yeah, I am going to go put away all this stuff. I have no idea where and take my son to the movies. So I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday and I hope you enjoyed this household haul.